Yo ballers, this is Kicks Contest, my name is Lecha Matras Fly White and it's time, I mean it's Dame time to test Adidas Dame 8. Let's go! Dame 8 runs just a tad bit large. For my usual size 12, there is some space in the front and the toe box feels kinda roomy. You will appreciate this if you have a wide foot. I did try size 11 and a half though, but they were too snug, so I went with the size 12 for this video. Guys with high arch will be fine as well. Dame 8 have the usual lacing system with a detached tongue, so it's easy to put them on and adjust the fit to your comfort and foot type. No time needed for breaking in. With these shoes, you don't think about a time at all, cause it's Dame time, you know. Overall comfort is okay. The laces don't strangle the foot because there is enough padding in the tongue as well as elsewhere inside the shoe. The heel section has these special ankle pads and there is also this nice soft Achilles pad to keep you comfortable when moving like this. A nice feature. The only thing Adidas didn't take care of is breathability. It's nice and soft inside the shoe but can be too hot at times so keep this in mind. Dame 8 has the, and I haven't said this in a while, bounce midsole for cushioning. But it's not just bounce, it's pro bounce. This kinda new old foam compound does an excellent job handling impact in the heel and in the forefoot area. You are welcome to jump high and land hard in these shoes. And the core field is there too. All in all, it's a good cushioning setup if it doesn't get smashed or compressed in a couple of months of heavy use. As it usually happens with a softer light strike. It didn't happen to my pair in two weeks of testing though. But if you own a pair, let us know how they're holding up so that the rest of the gang knows this as well. The Dame 8 have thick wavy lines as traction pattern. And it does collect dust. So I was kind of disappointed at first when I felt some slippage during the first practice in these. Uh, but it was on a dusty court to be honest, so on cleaner courts the bite is proper and uh, synthetic outdoor courts the traction should be perfect. Let us know if you tried them outside and how was the traction. Dame 8 materials, uh, let's have a closer look. It was probably like this at the Adidas headquarters. The designers were told to draw something really cool, tacky and fancy, but they were given the materials from Court Vision 3 and uh, Pro Next 2021. Well, if that's the case, the designers get my respect, cause the shoes look cool with all these details and stuff, and the assembly quality is decent too. The materials themselves are pretty cheap, even though they're wrapped in a nice marketing and design package. With this said, the retail of 120 seems a bit too much for this shoe, maybe? What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Each shoe weighs 476 grams or 16 and a half ounces for size 12. Well, it's not going over 17, so it's a pass. Durability wise, I should say the upper material is sturdy and tough. Tough as the fourth quarter KO. The outsole is hard enough to hold for a season of outdoor play. As I said, I went true to my size 12 and honestly the forefoot lockdown was lacking a bit. The toe box is kinda roomy here and the forefoot still moves inside the shoe even if the laces are tightly tied. There was no such problem when I tried size 11 and a half, so if you're between sizes 11 and a half and 12, I recommend going down half a size. But if you have a wider foot, go true to size. The heel is locked down nice and tight thanks to the hard heel cup and ankle pods. The heel also doesn't slide up and down like it did in recent and Adidas models due to this special Achilles pod I told you earlier about. Looking at its construction, I think it was added to the shoe as the Achilles support solution after the main design had been approved. There is no torsion plate in the midsole, but the shoes are stable due to the rigid outsole with these stiffening ribs here. It's an inexpensive and efficient solution. There is a no trigger for stability. It's not that pronounced, but the shoes are stable anyway, which reduces injury risks. I 
can't say the Dame 8 are in any way a breakthrough, but at least the line is not regressing. This model is closer to the great Dame 6 than to average Dame 7, which means Damien Lillard's signature line is evolving, which is quite encouraging. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, that helps a lot, you know, click that bell icon if you want to be notified when the new video comes up, and also subscribe to our Instagram where we put on the teasers, first impressions and the start of the tests, and also news about sneakers and basketball, so if you want to stay tuned, follow us there as well. This is Kicks Contest, my name is Lecha Matras Fly White, and as always, peace everyone, Kushti Subchik Bow!